Our feeds are backed up, backed up at four more facilities. The others are slightly bare guarded, but nothing too taxing. I'll give you the addresses in order of security scenes. Frankly, I have no idea how good you are. That's a slightly creepy level of micromanagement, but okay. By the way, I'm not really doing possibly good voice acting. Well, I'm not really doing any voice acting, should I say. But I may sort of randomly try it. You see a mission briefing on the top of Proud Moor Drive. Take it. Okay, fine. Thank you. Such a needy person. I'm going to put more into the jump strength, because why not? The second backup from the cameras that caught you at the most scene is on Proud Moor Drive. Get in there. Get in. Wipe the data. Get out. Sounds easy enough. I think there's just some security on this mission. She was too sad to tell me. The Westview facility has bare security. My guard can open the front door for you, but this door to the server room is secure. Two guards working tonight. Whoever's in the server room can probably open the door to it, so get him to do it for you. Wow, isn't that kind of the opposite of a guard's, guard's job description? What kind, of, what kind of security are you hiring, miss? If I can just sneak in. It is, but these guys spend more time dealing with electric faults than professional spies. It shouldn't be hard to outwit them. And she just leaves, she doesn't even say good luck or anything. How weird. The guards were suit and sight. The cursor return the cursor turns red in areas guards can see. Jump on a guard to pin him to the ground. I didn't even read the optional objectives again. I don't think there was any for this mission. Why am I talking so fast? I don't know. But anyway. Whee! Punch, punch, punch. Yay, I did punch in. I'm pro. By, by the way. Duck! And... Punch! Yay! Hack and we're done. And that said, oh, basically, I didn't read that quickly enough, but... Well, I didn't say it quickly enough, because it just disappeared before I started reading it. Anyway, basically it says only guards can use these handprint scanners that I'm standing right next to, to open doors like these. Oh, 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 no, 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 I'll see you there. Right, also farm, Julian Mayfield, Chief of Police, to all the police again. The subject is swapping weapons. Getting sick of saying it, so keep it brief. All police issue firearms are palm print coded to their own now. If you take up all someone else's gun, it will not fire. Basically, everyone, we cannot pick up their weapons. Nice explaining it, so we don't always get confused on why we shouldn't be able to have a handgun. We're seeing far too many snafus like Friday. Perps getting away because an officer's using a bold weapon or one stolen from evidence. You're all lazy fucking bastard cattle cattledos. If you lose your sidearm, which seems to happen more than I can fully comprehend, just report it. I'm waving the fee for replacement. You need a gun that works. Merrifield. Wow. The, the, I don't want to know what to say about this police. They seem well not organised. And we did a bit of violence from punching, and everyone saw us, so yeah, we basically went stealthy. I'm going to put one more point into jump strength, and the next one I'll put into charge up time. Oh, oh, this time I can now explain the shop that's here that everyone's probably wondering about. Here we've got a lot of different objects we can buy to use in the um, puzzle environment. And the only one we can afford right now is the Crosslink, which requires electronic devices, which are explained in the mission. To get into the Eddy Street facility, you need to rewire the building's electronics. If you don't have a Crosslink, buy one. Okay, fine. I can't open the server room door on Eddy Street. And there are no guards working tonight. You have to do it yourself. How? Any building wired in the last 20 years puts everything on a single power grid. The way things are connected is all handled in software, and software can be hacked. If you've got a crosslink, you can see all connections and drag them around to work however you want. Make a light switch, open a door, whatever. What well, actually is a crosslink? It's just a mod for your phone. Let's, that lets you hack into a building's electronics and rewire stuff. Some security geek put it on the pl in a closed beta. Pl closed beta. Closed beta. The only people using it are expensive upwards and asshole kids. That doesn't seem like a great security feature. It's not. Anyone who's actually expecting a hacker puts all the important stuff on an isolated isolated circuit. The data here is a backup of a backup of a backup. They're more worried about hard drive failures than spies. Well, sounds easy enough. Let's do this. Basically, the game does start all easy. Yay, music. 
I like that my headset has its own volume meter that I don't think affects the my microphone or the game itself. Anyway, here's a laptop from Julian again to all the police again. We're getting more and more reports on electronics and these post-millennium buildings behaving strangely. Lights going out, but also more serious stuff like electronic doors suddenly swinging open. If you see something like anything like this, put in your report and play it safe. Those doors open way too fast. Ah, having a bit of a drink there. Of my cherry aid, yay! But basically, everyone that's basically a hint of the of doors swinging open that will smack out guards. But anyway, what we're going to do here is go into Crosslink, which by the way you just use with the scroll lock or press it out. You can't move right in that. But basically, this is a light switch, it turns the light on and off. If we do this, the light switch now becomes a switch for the door. We can now hack it. And we can close the door again and we can switch it back to the light, turn the light on and there we leave and it's not and it's like we never was there. By the way, I'm gonna create noise for this level just to show the glass shine. Whee! I like doing that. Whee! And that's that level done. We made a bit of noise, but no one cares. And this time we're gonna do some charging up. Yay! The next terminal is on Loxley Close. By the way, be careful with power sockets, they emit a shock if you're crosslink swing to them. Hint, hint, you can do it for against guards, which I'm probably going to do at some point. Oh, no, no, no dialogue or anything? Fine. Oops, that was close. There we go. I didn't see if there was an option redemptive again, god damn it. By the way, we can actually get these off. And here's a sneaky one. You see that thing there? This is the power. This is a power socket. It will knock out nearby guards like that. And because I can, I'm gonna put that to the door. And I like having the lights off. It's fun. I don't think there's any object, optional objective on this mission. If there is, I'm completely missing it. I'm completely blind. I'm sorry, everyone. But anyway, we're going again. Woo! And that's that level done! Yay! And we can still kind of fall anything, okay, that'll be in the next mission. More jump strength. And now we can do the last one, and um, we're all clear! The day set place on Gershwin and Forth is the biggest and most heavily guarded. But after this, there is no evidence linking you to Selena's murder. Wonderful! That's just what I wanted to hear. And I am recording good, because if I did all this, I bloody... If I recorded all this, and didn't record. If I played all this on Deep Record, I'd be unhappy. And yes, people, I have completed this game twice before, and I have attempted to record this previously in the, in the past, but I did some sound issues. But hopefully it's all fixed this time, yay! Anyway, this is the last facility with a copy of the footage. But it's stored on three different servers. You need to get on three different terminals and hack each one. Uh, excuse me, Lenly, about your backup addiction. Are you seeing anyone for it? Well, you never know when a suspected murderer is going to try symmetrically erasing them. Well, you do if you hired him. Good luck. Oh, she said good luck. Oh, oh that's sweet. But anyway, be careful of just jumping up randomly up here. There is a guard here. If you can see the cursor, it does go red, meaning the guards will can see where that wherever you are there. So jumping on this platform just above me will be suicide. But we can sneak up in the middle. And we can turn the light switch off here. I'm gonna switch it to that quickly. And it bloody goes the long way, doesn't he? I have put the light switch onto that power socket before, and it does nothing. As in, the guard will not get electrocuted from that. Okay, now thing to do here is close that door and open that one. I don't know why I did that. Anyway, we're gonna kill this guard. Of course he heard everything there. And this guy is just gonna stand there now what wondering what the hell happened. And he also 
dies. Yay, we killed everyone. The, the objective is probably not to kill anyone here. Yeah. Anyway, I could open. Okay, you actually opened that door, right? Yeah. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm, I'm not fully focusing. Anyway, we're gonna go down now. And the problem here is. Guards don't see you when you're hidden in a vair, yep. So basically he's just chilling there, you, the guard won't see you even if they walk all the other way. And you realise the guard's actually looking there because I made noise. Well, there's a simple solution for this, let's go down. And there you go. And there's a laptop, yay! I knew there was a laptop here. And it's also the chief of police again! My god, he likes to lightweight a lot of notes. Cameras don't hate black people. Oh, okay, I gotta read this. We need to put West this idiotic rumor that our security software detecting dark skinned people as intruders. They don't. Who the hell would f think they'd do that? What? That's ridiculous. What they do is analyse the subject's face, stature and movement characteristics and match them against a database of, round of known security personnel. That means if anyone isn't police or private security walks in front of a ca camera, regardless of skin colour, it would trigger. If it's connected to an alarm, they set it off. If not, it does a note to the Fudgy for security to review later. Whatever they're connected to anything or not, all cameras also store their feeds. So if you, for example, pull an African American transit even off the street into a security secure facility and shove him in front of a security camera in a misguided attempt to prove that piece of software is racist, we have footage of you doing that. Wow, do they really, really do that? Wow, that's bad. Okay, I've got an idea. Put you to that. What this would do is, when that goes bing, you open the door. Hack that and we're done. Yay! Doop. That was well done, I think. Wow, I think that concludes our business. There's something left that links you to Selena's murder. So at this point, police are going to have to look a little harder. If you don't find him, I will. And if they do, I know exactly where he is. Did I say if they if you don't find him. Uh, probably. And then what? I have a medical degree and a gun company. Who's going to find out why that makes why that makes it a bad idea to kiss someone I like? Okay. And this now one now requires a wire jack. Anyway, I'm gonna save this mission for next time. So anyway, I hope everyone's enjoying this let's play this new let's play of a puzzle platform. Because I certainly do enjoy this game and would love to. And love. If people do love. I don't even know what I'm saying anymore. I certainly do love this game and it can be bought off Steam for quite a bit of cheap. I'm not sure how cheap it is on Steam right now. It sh I think it's under 10 quid maybe. I could be hardly wrong there. But it's definitely worth a check out if you do like this game. I certainly do recommend it. Anyway, when, n when we come back. We'll be talking to this Collins person, who looks like they've been arrested. Oh, I wonder why. But anyway, bye-bye.